Hey guys, Super Mario Kid 64 here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Uh, last time we um, uh, cured Mario's bean fever and <clears throat> excuse me, um, Valletta kidnapped Peach, unfortunately, and um, told us we have to, in order to get her back, we had to get the four pieces of the broken bean star for her, her, him, whatever it is. So, um, and last time, I'm sorry, I was on, uh, the Tiki Valley ship and I didn't know what to do. I actually did figure out where to go. I just, like, randomly walked forward, but this little cutscene came on, so I wanted to read this, so I didn't want to skip it yet. So anyway, let's get started with this episode. Um, I, I, I just can't handle this heavy-duty brain labor. Please, quit crying, I swear. This is why I hate hiring these workers from out in the sticks. So, yeah, um... From the last episode that one of those skeleton guys told us if we wanted to get a membership card we had to do something to help out the ship but first we had to play this mini game this is a really annoying mini game i can't stand this oh and i'm drinking a pepsi right now so excuse me ah i'm definitely on team pepsi now i like it a lot more than coke which is funny i used to always like coke more anyway off topic i'm oh perfect timing we're short some people and we're hurting yeah we're in a huge jam you two ready to take on a little work? Yes. Great, okay, come in here. I hate this. Hmm, hmm. I am Bink. Nice to meet you. If you get 10 barrel points, you can be my sidekick. You win, I win, we all win. Want to barrel? Um, wait, let me have him explain it first. Just line up barrels of the same color. Line them either vertically or horizontally. I will show you how, so give it a try. It is not so difficult. So we have red and blue. I think they add yellow later, though. Mario, use left and right on the control pad. Luigi, use up and down. Try taking ten steps each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Next, I will show you how to move barrels. How exciting! Not really. Hold the A button and press... The control pad up or down to move Mario's vertical line. Hold the A pad and press the control pad left or right to move Luigi's horizontal line. Try moving some barrels, do not fear them. Hold the A button and press the control pad up or down. Yeah! Oh cool, we got one actually. Now it is your turn Luigi, hold the A. Alright. Hmm, hmm, I am such a good teacher, I amaze myself sometimes. Why don't you work up a sweat moving barrels until you get used to the rules? Press start when you're ready to quit. Um, hmm. I do would like to kind of practice a little bit. So you gotta get five in a row. I'm trying to get Luigi on that one. I move that up. Alright, so I got the hang of it. Want to quit practicing? Yes. Alright, I think I'm ready to do this. If you get 10 barrel points, you can be my sidekick. You win, I win, we all win. Yes. Ready. Alright, here we go. This can be a little tricky. Um, I'm trying to get Luigi to move that to the right. Move that. There we go. That's one. That's only one point, though. They do give you a good amount of time, I guess, but this can get annoying. Um, I was gonna try and get a bunch of reds here. Ah, I think I got one here. There we go, that is two. Hmm. Wait, I want the blue back. I can move the red there. Move the blue up. Uh, I don't know if there's any more blues, unless it can go like this. Now I gotta get rid of that red, and I don't even know if that's gonna work. Oh, but I could get those two um, reds up there. Oh, come on, I only have two points, seriously. Alright, that's three. Uh... I remember I did struggle with this a lot the first time I did this game. Yeah! Alright, 
by four. We're almost there. there. If I could just get two more blues over there. Oh, I could put this blue here. Oh, what did I do, damn it? I don't know if I'm gonna do it this time. This is not a fun mini game to watch, I have to admit. Hmm. Now I'm just totally screwing up. Damn it, that's a red. Alright, so if I could get rid of that blue, I'm gonna place that with a red. That could be a point right there. Damn it, that's gonna be a blue. But I do have a plan. Uh, oh, damn it, I don't know. Well, this could be a blue right here, but how would I move? Oh, there we go. That's five, which is not enough, though, unfortunately. Yeah, and I think he starts to add yellow when you get, like, really close to having enough. So I did fail, but I guess six isn't horrible. Hmm, you stop right there. Hmm, hmm, are you really up for this? If you want to be my sidekick, you'll have to try again. If you get 10 barrel points, you can make it. Yeah, we know, we know. Alright, let's try this again. We can probably do this. I'm kind of starting to get the hang of it now. And we gotta go quick. We can't waste a lot of time. Good. Alright, one. There we go, right there. Guess I could probably get a red right there. Oh! That was quicker than I thought that time. I didn't think that was gonna be so easy. Um, red. Oh no, that's gonna be blue, but this can make it red. I don't think there's any possible way I could get another red over there, though. I like this music, I have to admit. I can almost barely hear it because my TV volume is so low, because I remember when I used to have the TV volume on high and it would like echo and it was like ruining my videos. And I didn't even realize why. Come on, I was doing good too, and now I only have two points. Alright, three, and then- Oh, I got two right there, double whammy, nice. I can't believe I just said double whammy. <laughs> Um, I'm trying to go for a blue right here. Um, by the way, just for anyone who's wondering, I actually do prefer the color red over blue. Feel free to leave in, a com in the comment section which color you like better. Because why not? Um, hmm. Oh, there's like no way to get a blue over there now. Damn it. Unless, like, I go like this. Oh, damn it. Now I'm stumped. Oh, there we go. That's a point. That's five. Alright, we're halfway there, but I don't know if I have enough time to get enough more. We'll try. We'll try. Alright, really close to getting a blue. Alright, six. Ugh, I only have six. I can probably get seven, but I don't think I'm gonna have enough again. This is probably so boring to watch. I'm so sorry I suck at this. It's not an easy mini game though, like I feel like they almost don't give you enough time. And I probably feel that way just because I suck at this. And I knew about this mini game and I knew I was gonna suck at it. Not to piss me off because it's like I saw it coming anyway, it's no surprise. 
Her, her. All right, I'm gonna try one more time on camera. Um, and then if I fail, I'm just gonna um, cut it out. So I'll try one more time for you guys to watch. Sound good? All right, good. What? I thought I could get like a blue there. All right, I just need one more blue. All right, one, one, not a bad start. Let's go for some reds. All right, we're almost there already. Good, good. All right, two. Not bad. Ah, uh, God, I need to get some blues over there. This should work. Alright, so now I just need one more blue. Or one more red, actually. That could almost work. Yeah, oh, yes! Two right there! Alright, I already have six. Alright, I'm on a roll. Here we go. Here we go. This is good. This is good. Damn it, I just needed one more blue, and there's a red, of course. There we go. Alright, seven, seven, good, and we have time, we have time. This is looking okay. Keep it up. Alright, we got a good amount of reds here. We need one more red, nice, eight. We need two more points. Come on, we can do this. Doing okay. Hmm. God, it seems like there's, like, nothing this time. Alright, good. This will get rid of the red. Alright, there we go. Alright, I have 50 seconds to get one more point. Come on. Can't fail this. All right, and I think I got it. Yes, we did it. And you can keep going, actually, which is cool. So maybe I could go for 11. Oh, thank God I did it. Sorry that it took me three tries, but at least I did it, right? Hmm. All right, good. We actually got 11. We got more than we needed. Oh yeah, and then he starts adding in yellows to make it a little harder. Alright, so we got 11. Hmm, hmm, you stop right there. Oh, ho ho, not bad, friend of mine. As a tell you're now my new sidekick. Thanks for your hard work, you really helped us out, fellas. Fortunately, we can't pay you with cash, so take this instead. You got a membership card. If you ever need more work, just drop by, alright? We're always happy to welcome hard-working types like you fellas. Well, thank you. Alright, so now we can probably go to wherever that guy was who said you needed the membership card to get through, but it's not back there. And then we can deal with that bloat fella who we haven't met yet. Alright, here we go. Oh, look at that! You got a membership card right there. Whoa! Now that I know, I ought to be able to remember you by sight from now on. Yay, we're recognizable. Bringing the sparkly thing to the hole was a good idea, but where do we put it? Whoa, what is that? You say the sparkly thing is a piece of the, the bean star? And you say you two came here looking for it? Hmm, really? You want this thing? Well, I guess I could give it to you. But I gotta tell you... Oh, I accidentally skipped that. I can't just give it to you for free. Alright. Just get that bloat... That guy bloat off the wall at the head. Then I'll give you this sparkly thing to you. Those are the, you know, conditions of the trade. We burp. This chocolate coconut 
fizz seeps right into your bones. Brap. Hick, don't you guys want to join me for some refreshing cola? Hick, boar. Come on, come on, have a look. Come see the pathetically inflated man blow. He drank so much chocolate cola, he got stuck in this crack. Plus, he forgot where he left the bombs for blowing up walls. Can't nothing be done? Can't poor blow es uh, escape his fate? Oh yeah, you need to find like hidden bombs or something if I remember correctly. Like right above where he was standing. Hmm. I don't know, I feel like it's like in the wall or something, the bombs that you need to get. No, I don't want to do this. No thank you, and you're ugly by the way. I'm pretty sure the bombs are like hidden, or the, you use like fireworks, I think they're hidden. Yeah, getting all the bean star pieces actually doesn't take that long. One of them, two of them, uh, the other two actually um, require going back to locations you've already been to, and then another one goes to a location you've never been to before. It might be on like the other side of him, maybe. But the only thing is that's downstairs, and we're upstairs, so I don't know. God, I completely forgot where the bombs are. Or is it, like, right there? We just applied some emergency cleaning to that sink deal floor, so don't go bogging around it. Oh, we were supposed to hit that. There we go. For I don't know why I thought it was hidden in the wall for some reason. I have no idea why I thought that. You just need to hit the floor. That reminds me of a song that I'm not going to sing. Okay, so now we're gonna use Fire Hand to light it up. Ho 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 ho! Wow. Yay, Chocola Cola, but it's probably not as good as Pepsi. Even though it can attack you and come to life, which is pretty darn awesome. Yeah, as you guys can probably tell, I'm kind of talking a lot about the game in this episode. Whoa, what's going on here? Because I really don't have a lot to talk about today, honestly. Okay, Kevin, it's the ocean. It's an actual ocean. Oh, is the SS Chocoa finally afloat once more? What, yeah, this is like just like the pirates from Zelda Oracle of Season. It totally reminds me of it. Wow, we emergency, emergency, mayday, mayday. I first did that game, by the way, October of my freshman year. But I ju actually just recently replayed through the game October of this school year. I also did Oracle of Ages again because I wanted to do a linked profile and the game was actually a lot different, which is cool. It's pretty cool that you can link the game together. And we are underwater again, great. I just want to see how long I've been recording. Okay, 18 minutes. We can go further. Do some more stuff. Oh yeah, I think you actually have to do this. I do not like the underwater sections, honestly. Oh yeah, over here is just one of those warp pipes. Or does this go back to, um... This doesn't go back to, um... Oh, this is the one that goes in the- Oh, this is just a shortcut back there. This is the one that goes to that new location. I thought that was a different one. I thought we would actually get the Bean Star on the ship. Oh, so never mind. We're actually on our way to a new location. And it's actually one of my favorite parts of the game, honestly. The place we're going to, which is cool. One place I hate in this game, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like that ice castle right before the final area. I can't remember what it's called. And you gotta fight that really weird, that little guy with the really weird friends that do horrible makeup or something. I'm trying to fight this blooper clearly because I want to get some EXP and okay, fine, screw you. Fine, you don't deserve to get beat up. 
I have to keep pressing the A and B buttons. Is there like an invisible force field here? Okay, that's kind of weird. Is there anything in here, or is this where we came from? Um, I feel like we came here already. That looks for yeah, that looks familiar. Okay, so we can't go in there yet, but like, I'm trying to get go over here, but like, there's literally like an invisible force field. All right, there we go. Wait, this is where we came from too. So I guess we have to go higher up. Seriously, what's with the force field? And I can't, those bloopers, like, I can't run into them. Finally, there we go. Nothing new here, though, but now we have more powerful hammers, yay. I want to try and get Swing Bros advanced. Yes! Mastered it. Awesome. Okay, uh, hopefully we can just kill these pest nuts in one hit. Not quite. Dang it. Ha! Avoided it. He's going for Mario again. Alright, let's try Swing Bros again. Swing, like I said though, Swing Bros is probably my least favorite bros pack in the game, but I'm kind of getting the hang of it anyway. Plus, you need to use it the least amount of times of any throw attack to get the advanced version, which is cool. Um, there is one more Mario one that's pretty cool, and there's this one Luigi one that's freaking awesome. Cyclone Bros. I can't wait to get that. But like I said, um, Knockback Bros. And what's it called? Um, Knockback Bros. And oh, and Chopper Bros. are definitely the most useful, in my opinion. I also really like Splash Bros, and like, it's only the first one, but I really don't like Bounce Bros. Okay, so if we can't go either of those ways, we must have to go somewhere higher up. Honestly, a little confused. As usual. Dang it, you stupid bloopers. They're only doing like one damage anyway. I don't think we're getting a lot of EXP. Yes, awesome. I have to admit that, um, even though I don't really like, um, Swing Bros, the advanced version is pretty cool. Yeah, these are weaker enemies, that's why they're going down so easily. Lucky! Yeah, we're not getting a lot of EXP. I almost forgot that Luigi had the bonus ring, though, so we get double EXP if we don't take damage. So I, oh, I have to remember that. Alright, so we just came from there. So maybe there's a different path we can take? Like, maybe we have to stay up here? That's what I- yeah, I'm guessing we have to stay up here. This seems to make more sense. Here we go. Detour to Guarhar Lagoon. That is the new location that we're going to be going to. And it is actually one of my favorite parts of the game. I'm looking forward to it. So we need to light this up. This is where we're going. Nice. I'm just about done with my Pepsi, so you guys won't have to listen to me sip anymore. So hopefully we'll be running into some stronger enemies that will actually give us EXP. And what the heck? Oh, I was already above it. I thought I was above the spikes. My bad. Oh, and we have a new enemy. I, do, I bet you it's not even- so we have some new enemies. I bet you it's not even just called a cheat. It's probably something stupid. Kind of reminds me of Love, Love Disc a little bit. Probably the worst Pokemon ever. Nope, just a plain cheap cheap, and then we have the Star Kiss. And I just used the wrong bros attack. Whoops. <laughs> Those star kisses are kind of adorable. I almost don't want to kill them. Alright, so that- Oh, they turned spiky, damn it. That kiss attack is really hard to avoid, I have to admit. 
Alright, so let's try on hammering this. Yeah, of course they get spiky, of course. How did I miss? What the heck? Are they, like, hovering enemies? Whatever, we still did it. Nice. We did take damage, though, so we didn't get that double EXP boost. Oh, no. Oh, damn, I need hit Luigi. Oh, and we have some more new enemies. No way I could have avoided that. Wrong bros attack. So, I don't know what these are called yet. We have to see. They look like sleeping octopuses. I'm actually really tired right now. I cannot wait for bedtime, seriously. Like, after my recording, I'm just gonna take a nice hot shower and get to bed for school. But the week's almost over. It's Thursday, so... Shouldn't be too bad. Ah, uh, so these are Malabuts, which I do not understand that name in the slightest bit. I'm getting really good at Swing Bros. I used to suck at Swing Bros, I have to admit. Alright, good. Killing these little jerks. What are those, like, pee bubbles? That's what they look like. Yay, we got a Super Mushroom. Gonna have to bounce out of there, looks like. Alright, let's go for Swing Bros, because we should be getting advanced soon. Which I am really good at now. So, as for how the bonus ring works, I don't know if it's just the person who's holding it doesn't have to take damage, or if it's the or if that also includes the person who's not holding it. I don't. I'm actually probably gonna Google that later, um, how, like how the bonus ring works, because I actually am quite curious. I've been wondering about that. Let's just knock back Rose to get rid of this. Awesome. Ew, those pee bubbles. What are those? It is like coming out of its bottom part, so. Those pillows are really easy to hit, though. Yay, Mario leveled up. Nice. Good, he needs to catch up to Luigi. Um, let's go for HP. Come on, I could have gotten five. Ugh, that's frustrating. I almost always forget that there's actually bees underwater, too. Alright guys, so that about does it for this episode. Um, I'll just get to a save point on my own. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next time we are going to be getting to the rest of this underwater section and we will be arriving in Guar Har Lagoon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Let's Play Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga. And I will see you guys next time for more. Later guys.